Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and in this show we're going to show you how to make commits to a Git repository. So sit back and relax and let the knowledge flow in, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit more about uh, committing in general just from the command line. Uh, in a couple future videos I'll be going more into using uh, things like Git GUI which makes committing and manipulating commits a little easier. And I'll also go through Git K which allows you to actually look at commits which I've shown you before. So basically right now we're in our you know test repository, we have test. So what I can do right now, right off the bat, is do a get st or get status, uh, as I showed you that alias, and it shows me that where I'm master, nothing to commit, we have a clean working directory, so everything is just, you know, as it was before, nothing to do. So let's, you know, actually change that and go into the test text and actually add some more text actually I had this in a pre-run but anyways so now we have that one change so now what we can do is we can do what's called I'll clear this up a git well we can do a git status again let's just do a git status and it shows us there's that one file to change we can also do a git diff which will show us actually what changed than that file so we added you know that we, we can see like you know change the color a little bit um, actually kinda hard to see on the command line because of the colors I chose but you know we have this plus which means it was added so actually let's go back to that file and and just let's remove say the first line save that Clear this and do a git diff again just to show you. So now it shows it as being removed. So, you know, this just is a quick way to see what happened. Now, if the diff is longer than the command line, uh, basically it'll auto scroll it, and the way you get out of it is pressing Q. Uh, since this only took up a few lines, you know, it didn't have to do, you know, any, anything with scrolling. You know, it just ends at the end of the command. So now what we can do is, uh, let's clear this again and do a get status. So now what we want to do is we have this in what's called a, you know, we have nothing staged at this point. This is just unstaged, uh, an unstaged file. So in order to stage it, we can do a get add. You know, git gives you a little bit of help here. Or we can do just a uh, commit dash a, which will commit everything. So we'll do even uncommitted things as long as they're not unstaged so what I'll do is I'll do a touch just to demonstrate this test2.txt do another get status so now we have two files one that's untracked and then we'll do a get commit dash a for all and dash m for message because we want to do a nice commit message of adding test files you know obviously you know if you're doing something meaningful here you probably want a meaningful you know commit message uh, but you know just for the demonstration purposes we'll let that go through and it added those so let's just do a clear here and do another get status but see that it didn't add the untracked file so this one is one I'll have to add explicitly because it's untracked. Git doesn't really know about it. All it knows is that it's an untracked file. So I could do a git add, like I did in the previous tutorial, test2. And so now that's added. So if I do git status, it's added, ready to be committed. So I could do a git commit-m. Oops. Dash-m. 
adding another test file. And now it added that file. So that, those are you know just some of the basic ways where you can add files and commit files right from the command line. Now, as I said, there's an easier and better way to do this, and I believe I'll be showing you not in the next tutorial, but in the tutorial after that. I believe the next tutorial I'm going to show you uh, GetK. And so we'll go from there.